Right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your drums hit hard in your beats. So there are a few things that you can do to make your drums and overall beat hit harder. I'll go over everything in this video. So the first one is to start the beat with the right sample. Keep this in mind, you cannot polish a turd. So why start with a bad sample? and add 10 different effects on it just to make it sound good. Nowadays drum kits are coming with already processed drums so you don't have to do anything except leveling. Second, keep your low end mono and check if your bass and the kick is clashing. Phasing makes your drum sounds dull and I think it cuts out the volume when they are in like when the bass or the sample and the kick is in opposite phase. Quick fix for this is to change the polarity of the kick and see if it sounds good. The main goal is to make your kick or your drums sounds good, that's it. Third one is leveling your drums. I always make my drums the loudest in the mix and yes, can be different for different genres but for my type beat channel and my EDM tracks. I always keep my kick and snare the loudest. If you're making beats, you can always turn down your sample and your bass a few dBs. And then on the master, put this chain that I'm going to show you in a second. Again, this chain is only for beats that I make for artists and my Thai beat channel. For EDM and other genres, I add more things. We'll make a video on this too. If you're making Thai beats on YouTube or beats for artists, then I would suggest not to use sidechain because I think it makes the beat too clean, which is not the style of most of the beat that we hear today. Instead, try this leveling method. Fourth, mastering rack to make your drums hit hard. This is the sauce or whatever you want to call it. This is not an actual sauce. This is just some basic stuff to make your beat hit harder. So there are three things that I add on my master chain and I use this chain on all of my beats. First one is monoing the bass signal. I've been doing this with all my tracks that I make and I took it from my previous chain and I added it here. There are different reasons to mono. You can always research on this, but a quick one is to give more stereo space for other instruments and drums. And yeah, second one is EQ. I just give a few dB boost on the high end just to have that extra crunch on the beat because the limiter on the next step will make it sound crispier. Third is I added a clipper. You can use any clipper uh, in your own DAW. For example, in FL Studio, you have soft clipper. I use soft clipping setting on classic clipper and that's it. I don't usually increase the gain but yeah if your mixing level is low then you can always crank that up okay bye